Awesome. Okay, so for th those of you who just joined, uh, we're just going over what a mentor is in your own opinion. And I'm gonna go, I'm gonna continue to go around and take notes in the etherpad because these definitions, um, they'll come up later in the presentations and I, I just think it's a lot of fun. Okay. Jamie. Um, so I think also uh, going along with Shiv and Daisy is, you know, someone that's able to share their experiences, but also be willing to kind of take the path uh, with the person that they're mentoring and um, learn along the way as well and help guide the mentee and, you know, possibly themselves to um, answers or resources that will help them be successful. I like that you're they're going to go along. They're not going to just lay out the path and say, OK, go enjoy, have fun with that. But they're going to go along with the mentee. I really like that. Thanks, Jamie. Christina, what is a mentor to you? <laughs> She's like, oh, God, no. Now, this is good because I can't stay the whole time. I'm sorry. Um, now, now I have to think of an answer, though. Um, I would say. A mentor is someone to me who helps me think of things I couldn't have thought of but for myself. Um, sometimes I don't even realize I have a question. <laughs> and a, a mentor is able to either help me identify the question or is able to direct me in places that I hadn't really thought of before. Um, I mean, sometimes they're just providing I guess standard information, um, like a mentor teacher would provide feedback and tips and tricks, but also like, have you ever thought about doing X? You're muted. There we go, Belinda. <laughs> Okay, to me, a mentor is someone, I suppose, a bit like a good parent, someone who helps you become a better version of yourself. So a mentor is not going to do things for you. They're going to help you figure it out yourself, but they're going to gently step in at the point where you need that little bit of guidance. I like that. That's the first time I've heard it that way, too. Thanks, Belinda. Esther. Um, hi, everybody. Um, my name is Esther. I'm a librarian at the New York Botanical Garden. Um, sorry if I missed introductions. I, uh, what I said, I was in the mentor call earlier today and what I said then and what I will say now is um, that I think that a mentor is somebody who has expert knowledge in an area and is willing to share it. Um, and then hand in hand with that, for me, a mentor is somebody who is enthusiastic about teaching, whether it is one-on-one -on -one or in a larger group. Um, I think it's really important that a mentor view themselves as an educator um, as well. So thank you. I'm loving every second of this. Okay, Ned. Ned, can you all hear Ned? No. Can you hear me now? Yes. Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I guess I'm coming from a science background doing a PhD and thinking about what my supervisors do for me because supervisors are basically mentors. Um, and basically, like along with what everyone else has already said, which has been quite good, they also just like provide a bit of a map of the way you're in, where the place that you're in. And like when you build, when you work your way through a PhD or a big project like that, you start off with like this really scratchy, crappy map of the place that you're in and the place you need to get to. And you end up going to a different place Your PhD supervisor and the context that all the uh, 
Awesome. Thank you so much. I think, did I catch everyone? Yell at me if I didn't. I think you missed, you missed hey, uh, Donna. And uh, I don't know if it's how Dana's uh, voice, her, 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 her uh, audio is doing, but did you get them? I think, yeah, I think you're right. Sorry. I'm I like, am here. Enough for my mentees. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We're ready. Hi, I'm not sure if you can hear me. I, I'm Dana, I'm a master's student in building science and I've heard and really appreciate the saying mentor up, down, and sideways. So people, uh, we, we can learn from mentors who provide possibility models about things we didn't even know were possible yet, but it's also something with peers and uh, with, with our juniors to pass on. Excellent point. Thank you so much. And Jeremy, welcome, Jeremy. So good to see you. To We're see just you. going around. I think you might be the, this is perfect timing right before we get into the presentations. We're just asking everyone, what is a mentor to you? What's a mentor to me? Um, I guess someone you can ask to ask for help and he'll actually, you know, or she will be uh, willing to provide that help. There's someone who knows something that you didn't that uh, would be happy to, to uh, uh, transmit that knowledge. Thank you so much. All right. I didn't miss anyone else, right? Donna. Donna. Oh, my God. <laughs> Go for it. Sorry, having some. Can you all hear me? Okay. Um, I mean, I, I basically, like, agree with pretty much everything that's been said so far. Um, if I had to add a unique spin on it, um, somebody, somebody who is patient when they answer questions and, you know, is willing to answer the same question multiple times. And, um, you know, somebody who's willing to, uh, you know, not give you the answer, but help you work through it. So I serve as a mentor in a couple other organizations and it's always interesting to sort of be on the receiving end of that and remember, Oh, this is how you do it. Good. And, um, I, I've had some horrible mentoring experiences in my life. So I kind of, you know, think about, okay, a mentor is not supposed to be this. So what is the anti this? And I work towards that. So. I think we've all had those. This is what not to do experiences. <laughs> in many different ways okay well wonderful what we're going to do now is uh, so for those of you who have not been involved with the mentoring groups this round i've asked each group to a slide that they share basically something cool that they either learned or did during the three and a half month period and really encourage you to get involved with mentoring and so earlier for some reason, when I shared, each time I shared from the Google Drive, my Zoom crashed. So I want to prevent that from happening. So what I'm going to do is ask the mentoring groups to share their own screen. Um, and hopefully we can do that, do it that way. Belinda, you mentioned that Shiv is going to do the slide for your group. Okay. Do you have it up? Um, I do. Yeah, I'll put it up. Okay, hang on. And please ask questions. Can you see that? Yep, we can. And if you just want to hit view and then present. How do I do that? Sorry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Is that okay or not? So That's fine. That's fine. Okay. And we're ready for you, Shiv. Okay. Okay. Um, so 
we had this mentoring group with Belinda, Thanks. you're sharing your Slack now. So go back no. to the All right. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just trying to do too many things at once. So I'll start again. Sorry, Shiv. Sure I'm just a ghost here. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Here it is. And then it, I'll just try and do the viewy thing first. Oh, I have done the viewy thing. Hang on. Here we go. Sorry. Holding up the thing. Good. Go. Okay. So um, we had a mentoring group. I think it was me and Bagus, a PhD student from Japan. Um, so we met over a couple of times or more on uh, Zoom sessions. So um, uh, we had each different goals and things like that. So I'm a uh, postdoc in the university in Singapore. So during the session with started around October, I was able to complete uh, my instructor training checkout, I mean, instructor checkout, and so I became a certified instructor end of December. So there was one thing which was very useful, and we had like discussions and what do you do during instructor discussion sessions and and uh, teaching demos and things like that. Uh, and Belinda was also very useful in giving tips on how do you go about starting your community in a place like in Singapore. I think in Singapore, there's just me I'm not sure if there are other instru instructors around so we were thinking on how what's the best way to go about organizing a community either at university level or at the city level things like that and so belinda had a lot of um, interesting um, articles to share so which i think she's put together as a carpentry's community cookbook so that was very useful for us because during the zoom sessions we were discussing on um, tips or pros and cons of going it this way or that, but it was always useful to go back to this set of resources or links and see what people have done and how do you go about do, doing these things. I mean, it's just learning from experience. So that was very useful and fantastic for us. Uh, questions or? Yes, I do. I do have one question and then I'm sorry, I'm sure. going and then I'll open up. So if there, if there is one reason um, you would give to someone who's contemplating joining a mentoring group, what would you tell that person if they're, if they're contemplating something okay. um, to get them to get on board? Okay. So, so I am a, let's say, very new instructor. So I just finished the certification end of December. So it's like, and for me, it was all, okay, we had these instructor discussion sessions, so that, that was interesting and useful. But to go about organizing and workshop on your own, there was like, okay, a bit um, unsure on what are the steps to do, what's the first process to do. I mean, there are resources on the website, but it was always useful to have a person who's experienced with this and help us guide through and like, okay, these are the things that you can do and see how it works. So that was very useful. And then it's basically having a set of discussions on, setting up your community was good. So that was very useful and good point for me for joining these sessions. And Belinda, did you want to add anything from the mentors perspective? Yes, both Shiv and Vegas. Um, uh, Vegas is in Japan. He's doing, um, is, he's studying there and Shiv in Singapore are basically pretty isolated in the terms of there's no other carpentry people around. And so they really needed help to start from really our ground zero. So that was why we talked about all of the different um, strategies that you can use when you haven't really got anyone who, you know, looking for allies, like um, are there meetup groups? Are there people on campus? Are there other students? You know, just trying to help them get started really from absolute nothing. So that was... Um, I think helpful for both of them because they're both quite isolated in terms of carpentry connections. Thank you so much, Belinda. Other questions for the first group? You can put your hand in the chat. Do you want me to stop sharing this slide? Yes. They're wanting to know if you can paste the link to the cookbook in the etherpad. Perfect. 
Okay, if there are no other questions, thank you so much. I really enjoyed enjoyed learning about what your group was able to accomplish over the over the past couple months. Um, Esther, are you available to share your screen? Uh, yes, I think so. Let me see if I can get this set up first and then I will do that. Okay. I've not done this before, so. <laughs> just while Esther's getting going, I just want to stress that the cookbook is a work in progress. So this is something that Jonah and I have been working on together to try to codify a set of resources for people who want to do community building. And this is going to be discussed at the next Carpentry Champions call, which is coming up very soon. So if you're interested in this area, then that call might be a good one to be on. So is there, sorry, I know we talked about how to do this a minute ago, but, oh, mm -hmm. share screen. There it is. It's green. That's helpful. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Can everybody see my screen? Yep. This is perfect. Excellent. Okay, good. So um, my team, I was one of the mentees. Um, my team was all based in the United States. So David, uh, the mentor and myself are both in New York City, and then Blake is in Colorado. So Blake and I uh, both had different goals. My goal was to complete teacher training um, and eventually facilitate a workshop here at the garden. Blake had already uh, planned to facilitate a workshop, so for him it was sort of like getting the actual practicalities of that up and running off the ground. Um, and as a result, this came up in the first session, David ended up sort of doing more like one-on-one -on -one meetings with the two of us since we had kind of different goals. Um, so he was really excellent in that regard. Um, the cool thing that we wanted to share was that uh, I actually took a class, a software carpentry class, where David was the instructor last year at the New York Academy of Science. Um, and I really loved the program. I liked the structure. I thought that he was a really excellent teacher. Um, and so that was very instrumental in my deciding to sign up for the mentee program and in my interest um, in completing the instructor training. So um, pretty neat, like a pretty good progression, I think. Um, and then Blake's workshop got snowed in. Um, so everybody really had to learn the curriculum because they were uh, a captive audience. Uh, so I think both of us felt that the mentorship program was really valuable. Um, we both had the opportunity to learn a lot about the community, um, even in the calls today, just it's been fantastic to connect with people from around the world who are a part of this community and hear about like the really awesome things that everybody is doing. Um, and then uh, Blake as well found it really helpful to have the contact with David, who's a more experienced instructor um, when he himself was uh, facilitating a workshop. So yeah, absolutely loved it. Um, very glad I was able to participate um, and hope to continue to be involved and to go through teacher training. Oh, and I should say, I didn't say, um, I helped at a, a workshop that David gave at Rutgers and I'm helping again at the New York Academy of Science in uh, a couple of weeks. And I, Carrie, I think you just emailed me a schedule of instructor training. So gonna move forward with that, which is really exciting. So everything was really great. Thanks, Esther, and thanks so much for attending both showcases because I was, I wanted everyone to see what you all had done. Yeah. Um, what questions do you all have for Esther? They think you're amazing, just like I do. <laughs> no questions whatsoever. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, everybody. Awesome. And you can unshare your screen. Perfect. Next up, we have Jamie, and I'm going to share my screen, and Zoom will continue to work. Watch, watch this. Thanks, Carrie. Um, I had to join on my phone today, so I wasn't quite sure how uh, this screen share on Zoom uh, was going to work with the call today. Um, so, yeah, I was in a group. Um, I originally started with uh, three um, mentees, and one of them did have to uh, drop out of the program for fairly early due to work commitments. Um, but then we had, it, it was kind of a unique circumstances in that 
Um, but the two that were left, uh, the first person, Chris, um, was able to go through the program in the timeline that we originally had before we extended the program. And then Saren, um, he actually had um, an unexpected medical issue come up and he wasn't able to do the program in the first timeline. So with the extension, we were able to follow um, kind of the, our program outline that we had set forth at the very beginning before he had to um, leave for a few weeks. So it actually worked out uh, fairly well. Uh, we got through a lot of stuff with Chris and then um, invited him to come back and join some of the other sessions uh, with Saren if uh, he was able to make it. And then Saren um, also uh, won something cool that kind of happened uh, with ours is that Saren was able to bring in a friend um, toward the last two of his sessions. He basically wanted to learn a little bit more about the carpentries. Uh, both Saren and Chris, um, when they joined our group, had very limited experience uh, with the carpentries. I think Chris, um, he had had some colleagues um, at one, a local university at Vanderbilt who had done a few workshops. Um, and then Saren was very, very new to the whole idea of the carpentry. So, um, and as was his friend uh, who he brought in. So a lot of our focus uh, for our group was to identify what is the carpentries and how it might benefit them. So a few of our group goals were how could they become more involved with the carpentries community um, understanding the structure of workshops and lessons. So if they wanted to bring um, some of those to their own communities, um, how they might go about doing that, um, how to engage locally as an advocate. And both of them were very interested in being future instructors. Uh, so we went over that example as well. Um, if you click on the link, uh, Carrie, where it says smart plan example. Um, this is something that I had created for Chris and Sarah and it was, um, unique to both of their circumstances. So in Chris's, um, we kind of laid out some objectives, um, objectives plan based on our SMART goals. And just to gave them a lot of resources that we went over during each call. Um, so if you go down uh, further on the page, um, some resources about becoming an instructor. Um, I looked up about joining a cohort uh, with the member organization or how to contact people. So that's how we found out he was connected with some people at Vanderbilt. Um, encouraging, how to encourage your institution to become a member organization. And so we talked about how to become advocates uh, for the carpentries and bringing in a workshop and uh, to the local community and uh, seeing how the community responds to that. Um, I gave them some resources for becoming more involved in the community. And um, one of those was to jump on a discussion session. Um, I encourage them to do that. I think they might have signed up. Um, they said they signed up for a few email lists and Saren said he was going to do the Slack. Um, and then also I gave them some links for their lessons of interest. So we determined if there was one lesson that they could focus on, which one might that be? And let's kind of build um, experience with that lesson. And we ended up doing, um, I ended up doing some demos for them and then they did um, kind of a mini demo itself, but it was more or less walking through the lesson, um, answering questions that they had as they came through the lesson as they were trying to, um, like I said, do a mini demo, and then also um, trying to encourage them to figure out how they would explain how their lesson of interest. So instead of focusing on the carpentries as a whole, um, I asked them to narrow down their lesson of interest and how they might go to a colleague or someone in their community and kind of give an elevator pitch um, for that. So um, those, that was our, um, the, the program plan that we created, and um, we were able to stick to that uh, pretty much for the most part, and I think it went uh, pretty well, and uh, we're still keeping in touch, and Saren and Taylor were actually following up on one more call um, this week after the, the showcase, um, because we weren't able to get one of the objectives that Saren wanted to meet. Uh, we weren't able to do that last week. So, so that's a little bit about what we did. And oh, uh, something else kind of cool, um, why others should participating, uh, participate in the mentoring program. Um, we ended up, I, I ended up being able to connect um, one of the mentees, Saren, uh, with someone that I had instructed with before and in North Texas. And so that was really great to catch back up with that instructor down there. And then 
um, introduce the two of them. So maybe um, he could have another local contact to be able to help um, build his experience with the carpentries. And I think he's going to attend their upcoming workshop because he's never been to a carpentry's workshop before. So that is really cool. The source that you put together with all the links. So you already know I'm going to be borrowing that with your permission, of course. <laughs> what questions do you all have for Jamie? Go ahead, Belinda. Jamie, I think that um, plan would be great if it could be shared. I'm not sure if you're willing to share that with other people, but that's the kind of thing it might be worthwhile even, you know, including in the cookbook, um, just how someone kind of navigates their way through. So I don't know if you, you'd share that with Curry and maybe we can get around or awesome. Yeah, that would be great. We can talk about I, this uh, particular call. I did, but um, we could talk about you know, maybe making it anonymous so uh, we can yeah, Virgin pick something up. But I felt it worked really well. Um, pretty much everything covered um, kind of pertain to section one, three. We were able to cover all of that on so it, it gave us a good idea to work. There are another. Sorry, I thought I heard someone. So I will, I have that note and uh, if you have any, well, we have the notes that you prepared, so. I was going to say, if you could get to the slide, you should be able to do the page, but if we're going to um, make it where it doesn't have Chris. I just wanted to show specifically in um, the Python and, uh, or programming languages and genomics. That was his background was uh, genomics. So I gave him a few to choose from. And then he looked at those four in section three and chose one that he was most interested in. And that's kind of what we, he ended up focusing on. Um, and that's kind of what we did our, his mini demo on. And that's what we answered a lot of questions on was that lesson. Perfect. And thank you so much, Jamie, for all your work with this group. All right. I have the next slide up is for Donna, Daisy, and Dana's group. Who is representing? Perfect. Did you want to share your screen or you want me to? Okay. Go right ahead. Um, yeah, I'll pull it up and then I don't know if Daisy or Dana want to start talking um, while I get this sorted out. So go right ahead. Um, okay. I have it open here too. I can just share mine. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Ah, all right. I see what's going on. Okay. Oh, I see how this works. Okay. <laughs> Um, you guys want me to start talking or what? Yeah, that works. <laughs> um, okay, so the we originally had four people in our group. One person unfortunately had to um, to not continue. Um, I think that we, uh, Dana and I, were both very interested in, I guess, becoming better adept at navigating how to make basically how to work with um, Git slash GitHub for um, proposing lesson improvements and lesson changes. Um, so conveniently, Daisy is one of the maintainers for the Git lesson. So it's like, well, why don't we figure out how to do this using the Git lesson itself? Um, and we kind of just talked about that for the first couple of times we, we met and just, you know, discussed uh, some of the challenges that we've had and, you know, are we sure how to do this? You know, what's really the process? And, you know, we looked at this GitHub flow and we looked at the instructions that um, were posted for proposing um, pull requests and changes. And we're like, this is crap. We should rewrite this. Um, it, it sort of turned into like, that, that was sort of the project that came out of our discussions. Um, so we decided that 
and, and we did a lot of, you know, hands-on work with Daisy sort of guiding us through, okay, well, here's how you do a pull request. Here's how you do, you know, just the basic steps of that um, in the aspect of how to do that with a carpentry's lesson. Um, so the project that kind of came out of this, and I apologize, we don't, have, we don't have a link on here, and it's totally my fault because I've been swamped and I haven't done, I haven't completely finished my part of it yet. But the idea was that we want to put together a document, um, basically GitHub flow for beginners. So basing it on the existing carpentry instructions, but making it a little more detailed. So basically drafted step-by-step -step instructions um, for how do you, you know, submit a, you know, submit a change, submit a pull request, but also do it both from, if you were say just working just within the online GitHub interface, but also if you were working it from the desktop um, environment. So um, yeah, I'll let uh, somebody else talk now. <laughs> Daisy, did you have anything you wanted to add? Yeah, sorry, I thought I was trying to say something. Am I not, is it muted? You're good now. You? Oh, am I okay? Can you hear me? Okay. Um, yeah, so I was just like, I was really impressed by uh, the way that they, their, their plan to redo the GitHub flow thing just kind of naturally emerged from our discussions because it, it, you know, at, when you get, super involved in you know these kinds of things i think which i think most of the people who are maintainers and work with the 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 lessons themselves are uh we forget what it's like to be a beginner you know so it's like we, we we don't realize how what steps are just kind of in, like implicit in the in the flow and how the, and especially for someone like me who's a programmer primarily and not and i i the, the the most descriptions of how to use git are meant for programmers in like a more and it's not really quite the same model as making changes or suggestions for lessons. Um, so it was really great to have these two really excited people want to, uh, you know, readapt and just like make a better explanation for people with like with all the implicit steps taken, like made it explicit, you know, and that was really great. Um, yeah, and so I'm really going to push them on making this into a pull request for actually into getting it into the lesson it's in, into the instructions for how to where it says github flow like for how to uh submit pull requests to the lessons i would like the like i would like this to replace what's there now basically if possible um and so i'm really going to push my mentees to uh, do that because it will be really great and now they totally know how to do that <laughs> so uh yeah it was yeah that, it was really great experience i thought is there uh, Donnie, you mentioned earlier too about a link where we could see more. Can you put that in the Etherpad? Or um, I'll share it, but just it is like super not like it is not complete at all. Oh, okay, no problem. Um, I I would like I'm hoping, and like I said, it's my fault. It's not complete. Um, I own that. Um, I'm hoping to finish that. If not this week, then definitely by next week. So certainly by the time the next um showcase comes around. Actually, quick question. Are we required to um, present in more than one showcase or how is that working? No, you, you aren't required. Um, the, the show, there was a show, showcase earlier today and this is the last one. Okay, that's right. Um, so if there's going to be um, somewhere that we can have like live links to these slides stored, um, I'd be happy to, you know, add the link in there um, as soon as it's done and then, you know, put a notice out like maybe in Slack or something and let everybody know, like go in and, 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 and take a look at it. That sounds good. We can make um, all of the, this Etherpad will obviously stay and then we can place it on the mentoring groups repo and then the mentoring Great. channel. Um, Aaron okay. has a hand. Yeah, thanks, Carrie. I'm really excited to hear about this. Um, I, um, some of you know I've been working with the maintainers group uh, closely for the past uh, couple of months. And this is something that lots of people in that group are really excited about having, but no one has really, you know, taken the, had the time to put together. Uh, so when you guys have something that um, you're, ha you're willing to share, if you could please get it out to the maintainers, Slack, maintainers, email list, 
Um, we could put this on our discussion for the next maintainers meeting, which is in a couple of weeks. Um, and I'm sure people would be m very enthusiastic about helping um, bring it to the last, uh, last completion and get it ready for people to use and also start disseminating it. So please. Okay, what, what would be the best way to get this to you? Like, um, should, like, like on Slack or like just post it in general or? Yeah, that's a good question. So Daisy is on, should be on the maintainers Slack um, and also the maintainers list. If you want to send it to me, I'm happy to write an email and get it out there. But also, if you guys want to get it out on the maintainers list yourself, I'm happy to follow up with people um, Great. after that. So just let me know how you want to proceed. Great, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'll so keep in touch with everybody too to make sure that it all happens. <laughs> yeah, <it's crazy. laughs> I, if I can, I would briefly add as the third person in the group that I, I wish that everybody who went through instructor training also got to go through a mentoring program if they wanted to, because I found it really helpful to meet people who are in my time zone. I can follow up with questions. There are now familiar faces online, and Git is one of the lessons that I want to be teaching. So. Um, Spending a lot of time going through the repo with Daisy and Donna is also great preparation for that. That makes me so happy. You have no idea. <laughs> that was the whole point. <laughs> so that's wonderful. We're, we were the best mentoring group, I'm going to say. I think we win. <laughs> the, first, the person who said that. I don't know. I think, I think Jeremy said still here so he may have something yeah you know there's gonna have to fight you know there's gonna have to be a fight to see who's gonna win this one <laughs> fantastic thank you so much um jeremy i do have now i didn't i didn't ask actually ask you but one person from your group presented this morning i think it was elizabeth did you want to present for your group i have your slide up now actually uh yeah, so it, it, you know, I think there's a different audience who would just go ahead and give another presentation. So is that, is that okay? <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, I'm going to share my screen now. Okay, sounds good. And so we're trying to come up with a name for our uh, mentoring group, and we're like, oh, well, mentees, mentor, manatees. So we just ended up becoming the manatees. Um, so uh, basically, um, there were, so there were, uh, three mentees, um, Robin, Simon, and Elizabeth, and, uh, and Reed and I were the mentors, um, and, uh, you know, each, each, uh, each mentee had, like, very different kind of, was in a different place, uh, Robin was, uh, was completing her instructor checkout and was, like, nervous about how she was, you know, whether she, uh, was going to be able to pass, uh, instructor checkout, so she wanted to have some practice uh, before she actually gave her instructor checkout. And so uh, we set up a, a live demo for her to uh, practice her art lesson so she could get some feedback so that she felt more comfortable. And that gave her an opportunity to like, prepare before she had to actually give it. So that was really helpful. Uh, Simon has, is an experienced uh, carpentry instructor, but he had just moved to a new location uh, with his partner and he was thinking about connecting with the Stanford uh, carpentry community, but hadn't really made any, um, any, uh, you know, put any foolers out yet. And so uh, he set a goal to uh, find out who to get in touch with. And, um, and he, uh, he was, he's, he'll now be an instructor at a Stanford workshop in March. So that was, that was really great. Elizabeth, uh, she's an interesting, uh, she's an interesting situation. So she's not, uh, so she's actually a software carpentry employee. And she's got a ton of background in pedagogy. She's awesome. And she's got great, just like enthusiasm. And uh, uh, she, and well, she made these, these cool slides. And, um, uh, but it was just really fun having her there. And so she was, she kind of asked interesting questions about, about, uh, you know, about uh, what the challenges are for instructing. And so we ended up having a lot of, um, war stories that uh, kind of entertained the, uh, uh, the mentees as we, we talked about, you know, what, what worked for us and what didn't. Um, and then basically our goal, uh, Reed and I, uh, our goal was simply just give back to the software carpentry because we had both had really positive experiences being mentored. And so we wanted, you know, to do the same thing for, uh, 
for a new set of mentees. And so uh, we're going to continue meeting even after this particular uh, virtual showcase is over. And until we're told you can't mentor anymore, we'll just continue uh, uh, working with these guys. So any questions? I will never tell you you can't mentor anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you will never hear that come out of my mouth. OK, let's see. A uh, question for Jeremy. And I noticed that on the bottom of the slide, it said, uh, wow, setting goals actually works. Yes. So that was the surprising thing is that, like, you know, I was like, it was, I think it was the first uh, time we all got together. We kind of went around and talked about what it is that we were doing and, you know, kind of what we were concerned, you know, why we were, why we were there, why we chose to, to uh, uh, put yet another meeting on our schedule. And, um, and so uh, I just said, well, you know, what do you want to get done? What do you actually want to do? And so that each person went around with a very specific goal that they actually wanted to accomplish. And by the last presentation of, by the last meeting that we had right before the showcase, everyone had accomplished their specific goal. So that was really cool. We were like, whoa, that actually worked. It's amazing what happens when you set a goal. <laughs> and you actually have people who are there to say, hey, uh, you know, Simon, I haven't seen you in a couple of these meetings. We miss you. Come on back. And so all of a sudden he got his, you know, he got his stuff together and we were there. Yeah, so it was cool. Accountability. That's what yes. I'm talking about. Thank you so much, Jeremy. You're welcome. I think we have one more. Ned, did we get to your slide? Jeremy, can you say hello to Reed for me, please? Because I, I met him in Library Carpentry Land. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'll tell him Belinda said hi. I said hi. All right. Ned, is your volume okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't think it's working out for Ned today. Australia and internet, it sucks. We will ask um, Ned to... Oh, okay, he's just sitting in. Okay, we're good, we're good. We got through everybody. Awesome. Okay, so we have 10 minutes and what I want to do is just go over a couple of housekeeping and don't forget about each other items. All right. So the first is reminders that I will put on the etherpad on the bottom. There we go. Okay, so on line 148, I put a couple of reminders for everyone. The first is that of course, I wouldn't be the director of assessment if I didn't send you a survey. Um, so please, <laughs> mentors, mentees, the survey, I promise you, it's really short. And it's honestly to help us improve the groups uh, for the next round. So you will you should have already received that from me earlier today. So fill that out. Um, both mentors and mentees will receive certificates. So I want to see some Instagramming and some tweeting of these beautiful certificates that you're going to get in your email. And then the next official round of groups uh, will start in April. But again, that doesn't mean you can't, you can't continue having conversations and working on your projects. It's just that um, we're going to, you know, tweak the program a little bit and then invite more people to join in beginning in April. Okay. So we have the mentoring Slack channel. If you are not a member of that channel, just send me an email and I'll add you. And the mentoring subcommittee will be sending out a survey. It'll come out in the next newsletter. And it's just to get information about how to improve the instructor discussion session. So look at that. Now I'll open up the floor to your comments and accolades, Belinda. I just was, that just that last thing you said about the mentoring something or other going in the next newsletter. So is Jamie going to send me that or, or who? Because um, No. The newsletter now. Marion put it in today. Marion put it in earlier today. Oh, awesome. Fantastic. Well, it, I guess it would have been last night or something for you. I don't know. But it's in, it's in there. <laughs> 
Thank you. Other questions or comments? All right, I hope to see you all at Carpentry Con. Thank you so much for your participation and your engagement and keep doing great things. I, I really love being a part of this community. I appreciate everything that you all do. And I'm so happy that you got so much done over the past couple months. So don't stop, don't stop, get it, get it. That's what we say, all right? <laughs> Thank you everybody. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.